couple days ago, I was browsing through YouTube when I suddenly came across this horribly boring video. And as I was about to type a useless hate comment, I suddenly got an idea. I'm gonna take on the challenge of turning this boring TikTok into an engaging viral edit. And in the process of doing so, I will be teaching you the five step process that anyone can use to turn boring videos into viral edits. And to spice it up a bit more, I'm gonna be trying this in under an hour. And the timer starts now, so let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before we get into the editing, first we gotta choose an editing style to go with. I was thinking of using the Devin Jatho style, which is made up of these really cool text animations, some minimal graphics that pop up every now and then, and this really cool vignette look. And now that we have the style, let's get straight into the editing. The first step in creating a viral edit is cutting out all the silences, bad takes, and all the pauses. And I wasn't about to spend any time on such a simple task, so I got straight to work. First, I'm removing all the silences in the video. And next, I'm creating J cuts to speed up my video's pace. Then, I did that for the entire video. And this is what we end up with. A nice and shiny, cleanly cut timeline ready for our edit. And if you're wondering what this second layer over here is, this is just a version of my short but without the background, just so that I can animate some things in between. And with 56 minutes left on the clock, I think I'll have enough time for this next second. The next step in creating a viral edit is not only editing an engaging intro, but also editing one that shows the viewer what we're doing. Spoiler alert, I'm about to be spending a lot of time editing this intro, so you'll probably want to stick around just to see how it turned out. Because this is the intro of the edit. Here's an infinite content idea glitch for Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok that's your favorite creators. The first thing I'll do is create my text style so that I can subtitle the intro. To do this, I create a text layer and change the font to a font called Ruby. I added some simple background shadow, but that's not it. I then added a Gaussian blur and animated it revealing to get this simple blur animation and then animated the opacity fading in so that we get this nice blurry reveal and then I added the transform tool and animated it popping up so that it looks like this and this is Devin Jatho's text style which I then saved as a motion graphics template so in case you want to download it you can find it down below in my community then I synced up the text with the words which I was saying and wrote out the words here's an infinite to make infinite stand out, I changed the color and added a VR glow to it. Then to move on to my next statement, I nested the whole sequence, added the Gaussian blur to it, and then added my second line of text. So that as my bottom text blurs out, the new text appears. And I worded out content idea, changed it to yellow, and added a glow. Next up, I mentioned Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, and to show them, I decided to create a simple animation by dragging in these icons. Then, placing them all along the same line just like this, and of course, blending them all together with a glow, and then animating the Instagram logo coming down, and keyframing it so that it slides to the YouTube logo as I say YouTube, and then it slides to the TikTok logo as I say TikTok. I'll then place it under my captions, and then create a mask to only have it appear in the center. And I've been rambling for too long, so here's a random meme to just interrupt your focus. As we move on to our next segment, I first wrote out the words that your favorite and highlighted favorite with a purple color and a glow. I then dragged in a few images of some well-known content creators like Mr. Beast, Logan Paul, and Hamza. Don't ask me why these are the first content creators that I thought of. And you won't believe what happened. As I placed the first one behind me, suddenly Premiere Pro crashed. But I did not want to waste a single second. So as soon as I was back online, I animated him popping up from behind my shoulder and did the same thing to the second creator so that there were two creators behind me. And lastly, I had the third creator pop in in front of me. And with all that out of the way, I nested the entire sequence, added this circle animation on the infinite, then added this rectangle animation on the content idea, and added an adjustment layer with a vignette on top of it. And this is the intro we end up with. Here's an infinite content idea glitch for Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok that your favorite creators probably already use. And before we continue editing this epic short, let me tell you guys about my brand new online video editing community. This is Ultimate Editors, and it's got so much value, I can't even fit this into a one minute segment like this. But for starters, we've got over 80 courses in eight different masterclasses. The Premiere Basics module teaches you the fundamentals of Premiere Pro. The Advanced Editing Techniques module takes you from a beginner to a professional in video editing. And this is what some of our editors edited within just a few weeks of learning edit. Then you get to dive into the Devin Jaffo style, the Ali Abdel style, and the Alex Ramosi style before getting to the two biggest masterclasses that we've got. The Isaac editing style in which you learn to edit a complete video in the Isaac editing style from scratch, and my own editing masterclass in which you're going to be learning to edit like someone with over six years of editing experience. And if you thought we were done, we're only at the tip of the iceberg. You'll also get a YouTube growth masterclass that teaches you how to grow on YouTube from someone who grew up to 21,000 subscribers and 1 million views in just one year. You'll also get the presets and plugins that we personally use a week 
weekly online Q&A call, a weekly online lesson from me, a community of editors like you, and we're constantly adding in new coaches and mentors to help teach you guys a few new things. And there's a lot more. So if you're interested in joining Ultimate Editors, go ahead and click the link down below where you're going to be able to watch a full video in which I tell you a bit more about the best online video editing community in the world. And with all this said and done, let's head back to editing that video. The third step to creating a viral video is to edit the rest of the visuals. And here is the first clip we'll be first, editing. You gotta identify your niche. Here I mentioned my first tip, so I worded it out, then nested it and added a glow to it. Then I wanted to add some texture to the background, so I added this HUD effect and prayed Premiere Pro doesn't crash. Then I added an LCD display overlay behind me, I then nested the whole thing and added a zoom in animation to top it off. As for the segment where I explained my point, I added a grid texture, added a lens distortion effect, then some overlays from here, and I wanted to animate an idea of a niche and your car and being a part of it so i added this circular animation and added the word niche inside of it then i tested it and made it smaller and added this line animation then wrote out the word content nested the whole animation and added a zoom out to zoom out of niche and into content as i'm talking about in the next segment i mentioned the second tip and here is the clip where i do that second head over to chat gpt which is where i copied and pasted the same overlays that i used previously and even duplicated the same text outline i first used and ladies and gentlemen this is how you save time with video editing Finally, I nested it and added some zoom in animations from my preset pack. For this next section, I'm talking about writing a prompt into ChatGPT. So I drag in a video of me typing the prompt into ChatGPT, then mask this part out, then nest it and add a glow to it and drag on a slide from bottom animation from my preset pack. Then I drag in a zoom in animation from my preset pack to highlight the words I'm speaking of. And to make it look as if ChatGPT was answering the prompt, I simply made it slide to the top, then added this coding overlay and added a slide from bottom animation preset on that and here is how that turned out and write a prompt asking chat gpt to give you 10 pain points that an audience in your niche would experience finally in this section i mentioned my third and final tip and here is what that section looks like and third ask chat gpt to give you short form content ideas based on those 10 pain points when I mentioned my third tip, I added a 3 behind me. Then when I mentioned the second prompt in ChatGPT, I once again added a clip of me typing into ChatGPT, masked it out, added the glow, added the slide from bottom, then once again had it slide to the top, added another coding overlay and made it slide from the bottom. And in this next section, I added a grid background, added a HUD overlay to showcase gathering ideas, then added a loading animation to showcase converting those ideas, and then added another overlay to showcase them turning into short form videos. Then I said the whole thing and zoomed in on the area I was speaking of at that time. By now, I was getting exhausted, but the determined look was not wiped off my face. So I moved on to our final section. There you go. You've got 10 video ideas for your next short form video. And as usual, follow for more value. I started off by writing out the words, there you go. Then animated the words, you've and got. Nested them, added the Gaussian blur, then animated them being blurred out. Then I added three titles to showcase 10 video ideas. And colored them in purple, then added a glow to them. And lastly, I wanted to finish off with an Instagram reel overlay. So I took a screenshot of my Instagram feed, added it to Premiere Pro, removed Noel Diesel from the center, and then changed the blending mode to screen for this special effect. Then I added a slide from bottom animation preset, and lastly, I nested the whole thing and added a zoom in animation onto it. There you go, you've got 10 video ideas for your next short form video. And for this final section, I tracked myself and added this pop-up, and finally, the visuals were finished. I took a nice little break and had a long stretch, but unfortunately, as you could tell by my face, we ran out of time. I really wanted to do this in under an hour, but oh well, things happen. However, the video does not end here. Even though I ran out of time and failed the challenge, I suddenly remembered this quote. And with every ounce of motivation flowing through my veins, I was motivated to finish the video. And step four in creating a viral video is to sound design everything and bring it to life. Sorry, I just got really excited over that motivation segment. Here's how I did this in a nutshell. Infinite was highlighted with a different color. So I added a bell sound effect to it. Then when this circle animation appeared, I added a highlighter sound effect to it. As for the words content idea, I added these digit click sound effects. And for the social media icons moving downwards, I added a nice girthy whoosh. And then as I'm switching between between the icons, I added a simple digital click sound effect and a whoosh to blend in the disappearing animation. And a bell sound effect for the word favorite. I was moving so fast, I was literally unstoppable, and no one could stop me. I was sprinting through this marathon and gliding through the swing race like an absolute machine. My camera died.
<laughs> but I wasn't gonna stop just a few meters away from that finish line. So I had to get done with the sound design. I added a few wishes to the animated characters. Then when I mentioned my first tip, I highlighted it with a bell sound effect and a whoosh for the zoom. Then for this circle appearing, I added this data sound effect and a highlighter sound effect for the line drawing out and another digital click for the content. For that extra beautiful touch of attention to detail, I even keyframed a decrease in the audio volume so that it looks like we are moving farther away. And when I mentioned my second tip, I simply did the same as I did with the first, added a bell sound effect and a whoosh. Then for this glorious section, I added a whoosh sound effect for the chat GPT outline popping up, a typing sound effect for typing in the prompt, and a bigger whoosh for the zoom. Then yet another whoosh for when the coding overlay pops up, and a data sound effect to bring that thing to life. A prompt asking ChatGPT to give you 10 pain points that an audience in your niche would experience. And lastly, when I mentioned my third and last tip, I added a bell sound effect, and just as before, a whoosh for the ChatGPT mask popping up, a typing sound effect for the prompt, a whoosh for it sliding to the top, and a data sound effect for this coding overlay. For this animation, I simply added another data sound effect for the first overlay, and once again, the attention to detail, I even keyframed the audio volume decreasing as I zoomed out. And to finish it off, I highlighted these three words with three digits digital clicks, then a whoosh for the overlay coming into frame, and that's it. I was done. Every last ounce of editing energy had been sucked out of me. But there was one more thing we forgot to add. That's music. The final step in editing a viral video is adding in the music. This sets the tone for the whole video. So I chose Metamorphosis because I just don't want it seem to work. And after an hour and 20 minutes, a failed challenge, and half of the brain cells I originally started with, this is the final result we end up with. Here's an infinite content idea glitch for Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok that your favorite creators probably already use. First, you gotta identify your niche and figure out what niche your content belongs. Second, head over to ChatGPT and write a prompt asking ChatGPT to give you 10 pain points that an audience in your niche would experience. And third, ask ChatGPT to give you short form content ideas based on those 10 pain points. Once you've got those ideas, turn them into a video. And there you go, you've got 10 video ideas for your next short form video. And as usual, follow for more value. Thank you so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Seriously, guys, I mean it. God bless each and every single one of you. And if you made it this far, go ahead and comment down below and let me know. And you guys know what to expect at the end of the video. And once again, don't forget to check out Ultimate Editors down in the description below. And as usual, I'll see you guys in the next video.